So we're worried because chikungunya is one of those diseases which is increasing in frequency and prevalence around the world. So there are a number of diseases, infectious diseases, where we're having considerable success these days. So globally, uh, the malaria prevalence is going down, HIV prevalence is going down, TB prevalence is going down. But there's a couple of diseases, and they're both mosquito-borne diseases, um, which have really exploded kind of over the last uh, couple of decades. One of them is dengue, um, which of course Queensland has in its far north. And the other is chikungunya, which up until a few years ago was relatively unknown. Um, but now uh, the estimates are that there's anything between half a million and six million cases uh, globally per annum. And some pathways for that disease are, are linked to our closest neighbours. So there's an awful lot of chikungunya uh, in the uh, Asian subcontinent in Southeast Asia. Uh, and in, uh, in, in South Asia. So there's an, an awful lot of opportunity for importations of chikungunya to come into Australia um, as uh, people travel back and forth between Australia and those other countries. So right now we need uh, capacity and resources, and capacity and resources cost money. Uh, and that is the bottom line. And we have a million great ideas of how to deal with all of these mosquito-borne disease issues. Um, and of course, at the moment, we're constrained to just carrying out a few of them. But the injection of more funds immediately makes us able to go to the field with some of our techniques and test them.